Hey guys, this is Vikes and welcome back to Make with Vikes. It has been a long time I have not uploaded a video. The reason will be covered in another video. But for now, I have something really interesting to show. Now what you just saw was PETG in action. PETG stands for polyethylene tetraphthalate with a bit of glycol. Now we use the original version PET in a daily life a lot like in plastic bottles like this one and mostly in food containers like this one. But for 3D printing we use something like this. Now I have been printing on PLA for a long time and it is really easy to print it on any printer but it lacks strength and flexibility which might be required for some specific parts. Now as an alternative you can use ABS but since I print indoor it's something I really want to avoid. So the solution is PETG. PETG is a bit tricky to print as it doesn't want to stick to the surface easily but it sticks to the bed with the help of a glue stick. You need to change the extruder temperature to 230 degrees Celsius and the bed to 60 degrees. Also, you need to increase the retraction distance a bit to avoid stringing. This was with PETG on my Ender 2 and my God, look at the flexibility. Now, if you compare that with the PLA VAS, like this one, you can see that it doesn't even flex. This is one advantage what you get for PTG over PLA. There are a ton and we will explore more in our upcoming videos. For now, I can show you some of the prints that I made with PTG. I hope you like the video. Now, if you are new to PTG, drop down a comment and also if you are using PTG, tell me what you have printed with PTG. I would love to know. And do remember to subscribe this channel for more 3D printing videos. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. Lights, camera, action. And food containers.